them, the consensus seems to be that where well, the, the story is garbage, but it's just a way to, to get from one joke to the next. And I think that's kind of underselling it. I think for the first three quarters, I think the, the story pretty much makes sense. And, and actually really like The Void, right? Yeah. I think working the cameos into the story uh, in the form of The Void is genius because that gives you a story re story reason for digging up any old character that you want, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not just people showing up and ju just just randomly, right? Like there's a reason for all of these characters to be there, including mm -hmm. Gambit who was born there, which was the funniest joke in the movie. But uh, I think this whole thing about Deadpool wants to be a hero and doesn't he, he doesn't have what it takes, so he gets hired he gets hired by the big corporate entity to save the universe and he can't do it alone so he has to dig up Wolverine from his grave all of that is really obvious metaphor right mm -hmm. including and also the void about how about this is where the all the discarded characters that nobody wants anymore goes right uh the the metaphor stops working halfway through like once they get to the void it stops be stops mattering and i think one of the reasons why i consider consider the story so weak is that the ending does not pay off that whole idea when you when you think about what really happens in the end, right? So there's this rogue. So I think the TVA I think stands for Disney, right? They hire Deadpool to save the universe. They have sinister motives. They or they don't care about people, right? It's very clearly Disney, right? But there's a rogue rogue faction within the TVA who are everything that's bad with the TVA, and Deadpool stops. Deadpool and Wolverine stop them, and then everything is fine. Is 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 that the subversive satire that we've we've been promised? Or am I reading too much into it? And, and then, and then at the very end, they basically save the world by working together, and everything, everything is fine. Mm -hmm. And that's that. That's kind of lame. And also, I'm not sure that the symbolism. I think, I think the symbolism doesn't work, and you kind of have to ignore that it's there at all in order for the ending to make any sense. Like you, you said, you saw more in the movie the second time you saw it, right? Like, did you did you have the same interpretation, or am I missing something? Or no, no, I had the same interpretation. I, th I think more so on my first viewing, I was kind of like. Kind of looked over the whole sort of it being a fox eulogy and then sort of how that contextualized a lot of what was happening in sort of the first part of the movie but again i'm, I'm sort of like with you in terms of like when i was thinking about the ending and sort of the impact of it and sort of what it all sort of like really meant is where i was more so lost so i i, I don't kind of disagree with what you sort of like said there in terms of like how it falls a little bit flat and i think that the, the story and the metaphor work up until that point Mm -hmm. And then they did not either didn't know or didn't care to 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 do anything with it. And I think I wasn't the only one who expected Deadpool to kind of go into the MCU timeline or merge all the different ones into the MCU. So and that's why there are no mutants or something. Like I'm not, I'm sure I wasn't the only one who expected that. And they, they do nothing of the sort, right? They have not touched the MCU timeline at all in the movie. No. I'm not even clear on what happens to the people in the void. I think they don't get addressed at all, right? Like Cassandra is defeated, like, sorry, and that. Deadpool, the, the, the Deadpools are defeated, but yeah. all the people stuck in in the void. Does anything happen to them? Yeah, think, they didn't. They didn't. Think everyone out. in the void, or just like the characters that we saw, like Blade and 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 stuff. Well, in in general, what happens to people in the void now? Oh, people in the void go there to die. Essentially, like that big alive yeah. monster. It like. The, essentially, the void is meant to be the end of time, which is what sort yeah. of Kang created, sort of where to like prune all, sort of, all branches of timelines where he might possibly sort of come back, come back again, and sort of start the Kang multiversal war. Essentially, so the void is kind of like the end of time where they prune everyone, to, like they prune all these timelines to go to the end of time, and then Alive pretty much comes and sort of uh, kills everything that's there, essentially. But yeah. there are like people that you know manage to sort of survive, as you shown in the movie kind of like managed to survive and thrive essentially in the void. So the the other part that I, again, so like this raises another question to me is if the TBA has gone in a new direction, cause like in the Loki series, it was very much, you prune anything that wasn't part of the sacred timelines. So anytime a new branch line, any anytime a timeline branched, you'd prune it, send it to the other time. But in this new one, they're saying that they're allowing things to branch out and they're allowing, and some of their managing all the different you know, branches in the timeline. But then that should then mean that you should kind of maybe start to put people back where they were that you sort of sent to sort of uh, the void or they must or there should have been some type of hint to like a cleaner process of the void at the end of time on everyone that you've sent there because you've been doing it for hundreds and hundreds of years so you know it's all good that you fixed 
you know, the, the timeline and you're allowing it to branch and allowing some of this multiverse all sort of stuff to happen. But then it's kind of bad and TVA to like literally, literally leave everyone that hasn't proved, proven previously in the void. So is that a happy end? Not completely. Well, end. No, but they're not, well, we don't know if they're left there because um, Deadpool did ask if he can, um, he asked the lady if he can um, do something about it as in like get them out of there. So for, for the characters we saw, for the characters we saw, I'm I'm assuming that they've been taken out. So like Blade, Elektra, and Gambit, yeah. and we obviously saw X23, uh, Daphne Keen's character, uh, part of the sort of part of the dinner table there. So she was clearly saved from it. But yeah, it just raised the question about everything. I, I think it's it's kind of skip, skipped over. Right? There's no explanation of what happens to the void now. No, 